these brand new buckets. Full. Woo! <laughs> okay, where's the tape? Good boy, Smitey. <laughs> Burr. What are we doing? Okay, so I'm marking the buckets. So I'm gonna call this McD's because that's where we are. McD's Ranch. McD's. McD's gravel one. pit. Sample one. Okay, sample one is gonna be this pile. Okay. okay. Can you go up close to it so that we get a better idea of what it's gonna be? Mm -hmm. Sample one. <laughs> it's gonna be that pile that's there and then we might do a third one where we'll go back further okay phew This one, I think, sample two. You think it's going to be better? Yeah. Is that your gut? Yeah. Bobby. Why do you think that? Look at Bob. See Bob. See Bob. <laughs> um, because it's uh, more sandy. Yeah. I think this is going to be too rocky. <laughs> Lost its shape. Shoot. Sample two. See, but it's not really folding itself up. Over here it is. Look at those peaks. Okay. Okay. Look at them peaks, babe. Pretty wet. Yeah. See those peaks? What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Mm. Thanks for shoveling. I don't know where my shovels are. This is like the worst shovel. For oh me. yeah, where are all your shovels? I noticed that there was. Oh, they're kind of all over the country. All over the country. <laughs> they got a passport. <laughs> they don't need a passport. Should we take some where the peaks are? Those look like pyramids, babe. That's the shit. This is the shit. I'm it's telling the, you. It's all the pile. Number it's two. All, it's all the same. <laughs> <laughs>
Rocks in it? No, it's wet, so getting the moisture is an issue. Okay. We gotta dry it? <laughs> it actually records. Okay. I don't need that much tape. <laughs> That was for effects only. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Make D sample three. And this one will be easier to remember because it's we have this stuff everywhere already. Mm -hmm. Well, not everywhere. Well, this one is gonna be It's a shale, but it has a ton of fines in it. So I'm curious if it's going to, like it packs on its own very well. We have it in our driveway. This is just a smaller version of it. But once we add some cement to it, I'm curious how it's going to, if it will pack down. And if it's what kind of look it will give us. It could be a matter of this mix for something else too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're struggling for this. <laughs> yeah, see all those fines? Mm -hmm. I think it'll work. We'll find out. Maybe we were on to something when we did all of this already. We'll see. Quarry. Is it called a quarry? It's, I think it's called a gravel pit. Okay. Call it what you want. Quarry is where they get the stuff for this out of. And then it comes here. Well, we want it to be consistent, whatever we get. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Mm -hmm. the strength, integrity, aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guns out, guns out. Don't put that in the video. Okay. All these lids. This, I have one that's more broken in. This one's like. Wait. Yeah, first time. Hey guys, are you guys interested in what we're doing here? Okay. So check out the two. So we dry mix that one. Let me check out the color. Yeah. Have we talked about what we're doing here? No. Ooh. What? Why is Jojo pink? <laughs> Come here and you'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're making sample blocks. Sample blocks for our round earth walls for our geothermal round earth greenhouse. We've got small little formwork made up. It's just two by four width with plywood sides. And we're gonna ram it with the two by four which you don't have, but you'll see that soon. Um, we have our mix done up, just a dry mix. So we've got our base mix, which consists of some silt, clay, three quarter inch gravel. And there's also bits of sand in there, so smaller aggregates, but that is a jar test, which separates all the different layers of soil or geo, I don't know what you call it, in all honesty. My brother would know. Yeah, so what it does is it gives you 
Just a quick and dirty test of what's made up in your base mix. It's not terrible to have clay in it because the clay helps the pigment bind. And we're not making a concrete wall, we're making rammed earth. Mm -hmm. Clay is earth. More earthen materials, right? So what we're going to do is we've mixed up dry mix. This one has a brown pigment. This one we've added in black pigment. Mm -hmm. And what's the pigment? It, what kind of pigment? It's cement pigment, right? Yeah, it's a... It's called a concrete pigment. So you can you can order colored concrete from any ready mix concrete supplier. They stock it. Um, you're better off to probably shop around rather than buying it from the ready mix because they don't make it. They just stock it. Anyhow, we're gonna do these three samples all with the same mix of base mix sand ratio and same percentage of color and we're going to have layers in these three and we're going to now that we've dry mixed it we are going to oh i might have turned the hose off <laughs> <laughs> okay so what we're going to do is add small amounts of moisture into our mix we have to shake it a whole bunch more if we do that you're better off to add it in small amounts because you don't want it to be too wet. I'm gonna grab, I use the laser. I've got a rubber mallet somewhere. I should be using that. Mm. So yeah, and you vigorously shake it. You add the water and then shake it. That way you can see it a bit better how much is in there. So it's still pretty dry. Ah, my form. Yeah. Once you get add water in small bits, you're gonna do a ball test with your finger. And you want it to not crumble completely, you want it to break into equal parts. So let me try another one. I might do this one at this wetness, moisture content. We'll see how it comes out. It's pretty good, it's not fully breaking in total crumble so it is bonding it will stay together for sure it's a fine line the last few mixes I've made the first ones were um, I think just a little bit wet so we're gonna try this one at this consistency and you can't measure your water because your base mix or your sand is going to have some potentially have some moisture content in it as well. videos I've seen you got like
Okay. We round them. Now we're gonna see what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, see that, that black is way too wet, but look how nice this one is. Very cool. Yeah, so they're all gonna be sort of the same. <sighs> that one's got a little bit of a swell in it. And you can see, yeah, that's so wet, it's bleeding. Mm -hmm. Bad mix, James. There's the swell one. Whoa. Yeah, this is so wet that it actually pounded down into the bread. This is good. Like, better. Super I don't know if it's cool. good. No, oh, it's too dry. I'm going to have to lean on old Clifton Schoolie there, and he's going to tell me. He's going to tell me to stop using color. Why? Because uh, you're not supposed to use color. <laughs> Until you figure out how to mix it properly. Oh, okay. But we were lucky enough to get this color from your mom. Yeah, she had that some. That she had in her garage. For like 20 years. So that's the other thing. This is a color could potentially be expired, but I was really excited to see how it reacted with our base mix and the, and the sand and the cement. Mm -hmm. So out of the three, I think we're definitely gonna have a black in there. Not a lot of it, but like mm -hmm. a few, few locations. I think we need more lighter colors. Yeah. I don't know about the red. We definitely yeah, I need... I don't know about the red either. I would go for more like... Brown. Brown and beige, so like the, yellows. The, the base, like we have to, uh, the other side. Uh, we gotta get yellow. We should've got yellow today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so test sample number one. Seven. It's the seventh. We didn't film that though. I know, but in actuality it's <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the sky looks nice behind you. <clears throat> it's you so don't blue. like how I look? Well, yeah, obviously. Ooh, hold on, I'm missing that part. What do you think, Bob? Next time on the tie life. What do we got? Mix and go. Mix and go. Mix and go bucket for our round earth greenhouse pan over. 